David, while well, lacrosse season officially kicks off two weeks from today, for a preview of this year's team, check out Citrus TV's lacrosse preview show. It includes interviews with junior captain Joel White and the man leading the Q's, head coach John Desco. The lacrosse preview show is so good that we'll give you three different days to tune in. February 17th, 18th, and 19th, all on Time Warner Cable. Check your local listings for showtime. Well, coming off, uh, well, actually, we're going to go to the preseason ranking. Syracuse just tabbed number one in the nation right in front of Duke, a close race for number one. Third was UVA, fourth UNC, and fifth Johns Hopkins. The next closest Big East team was Notre Dame at number nine. And coming off back-to-back -back championships in 1990, the men's lacrosse team, all but all bit controversially, marched on to a third straight NCAA title. 20 years later, the Qs hopes to duplicate that three-peat, and both the coaches and media polls, as I said, have pinned the Orange as the preseason number one team in the nation. A first look at the Qs comes Sunday in the Dome with exhibitions against Lemoyne and Hofstra. Our Scott Grazzi got a chance to sit down with goalie John Galloway to see how the team is shaping up in 2010. When you talked about your role, one role that I keep hearing other players saying about you is leadership. Now that Sid Smith is gone, how do you go about replacing a great defender like Sid Smith? Uh, you know, there's no replacing a player like Sid. I think he's one of the best players I've ever had the chance to play with. Uh, he, was a, he was a born winner and he understood the game. And, uh, you know, you really respect playing with a guy like that. I learned a lot from him and I, I hope I, I can take the things that I learned from him and implement him this season as a leader myself. And, you know, like I said before, we've had, uh, you know, two veteran defenders on that side of the ball now that, you know, have seen, seen some serious games seen some competitive games in John Lade and Matt Tierney, then we're really going to rely on them to be leaders too this season. And whoever fills that third spot, I think they're going to step right in and uh, understand what we're trying to do on the defensive side of the ball this year. All right, John, you only got a little less than two weeks now until that first exhibition game. Is the team just itching to get going? Yeah, I think so. I think, uh, you know, you play against each other for so long and you kind of get ready to play against somebody else, be able to hit somebody else and get out on the field against somebody else. And, you know, we're really excited to have Lemoyne and Hofstra, two very, you know, two very good opponents to come into the Dome early in February and have a chance to see where we're at in the season.